Today on Little Red Riding Hood Goes in a Murder Spree, I think I've got a pretty good run going. I've got this ability that will freeze idiots in a small cone in front of me, but at the very beginning of the run I just found something so I heal 3% of my charge signature damage. So that means I can heal myself along the way. My main attack is a lightning bolt and I have, uh, I can make the sky cry when I want to rain damage down from above like this. But I'm also going to be using that obviously because if it has the potential to heal me, that's going to be good. And then for the most part it's just me trying not to take damage, like I can just summon this from over here and that archer just dies. Of course we're not always going to have that luxury, but I can always freeze lots of idiots and then out rain down on them with the sky cry ability. Some of these uh, rooms are naturally going to get uh, pretty difficult, but I can still freeze idiots and then have it rain on them. Basically, as long as I'm paying attention and staying calm, things shouldn't be able to hurt me that much. But there's going to be parts that get difficult too like this, where suddenly you're just ambushed in a very tight space, but I think we'll make this work. We're going to lure him into the blizzard and dead. This freeze ability is going to come in handy too. I don't think, uh, whoops, went off the edge, forgot about that. So right now, looking at the lower left, this has the flame on it. That means it's ready to go in like its big version of the attack. So I need to do as much damage as possible. So I'm going to hit those guys that should have healed me. And I don't think it did. I've also just got something really cool. Mirror of Might doubles any damage boost received from other relics. We're going to get that now because now we're going to take damage on other relics. That was the end of the first area. On to the next. Hopefully we'll take a little more, less damage here. I will hopefully figure out when my healing attack will go off as well. I suppose as long as it goes off sometimes, that's perfectly fine. We'll get heals uh, when we need to. We only have uh, 275 max health right now, so even like 15 healing is quite large. See, this is where something like this would be good. Undamaged enemies take double damage. My uh, other items should double that, so they take double, double damage. I just need a little bit more money to get that. There's a few here that would be interesting. Frozen enemies take 20 damage when unfrozen. I do probably also want to focus a lot on things that are going to help for bosses as well though. Bosses are very tough. Regular idiots, not so much. The chest I just opened actually gave me a lot of the money I needed for that one upgrade, so we'll hopefully get that soon. I'm hoping we can just walk in and like one-shot enemies immediately, then we don't have to learn how they work. Okay, I got the 150 I needed. So now we're going to buy this. Undamaged enemies take double damage. I hope that now means undamaged enemies take quadruple damage. Let's test out against that guy. It did 24 damage. Yeah, that might have actually been quadruple because I think I do six uh, base damage. We'll try one of those. Okay, the shield's getting him. We've frozen him. Yeah, I don't know if that's doing double double damage, but it's doing extra. That's cool too because this will take us in here where we're going to have a little bit of a challenging room. But if I sit over here, actually a lot of things can't hit me. They can shoot projectiles at me. Uh, we can just avoid those for the most part. We're slowly going to make our way over there. Whoops. And then we're going to kill him. Walked right into that one. But one of the reasons I like my sky cry ability is I can just kind of do it like that and leave and then go to a different area. And that guy's slowly dying over there. Once they're all said and done, we get this happy fellow. I think I'm actually going to take this. Your signature arcana charges every 30 seconds. However, your signature cannot be charged by any other means. That's fine because every damage I think I do with that is going to heal me. So if I just wait 30 seconds, I can walk into every battle and heal. And I can see it in the lower left. It looks like it's about to charge so I can walk into whatever the next fight is. And then hit these guys. And there we go. We healed 3 HP. And that's perfectly fine by me because that's 3 HP I didn't have before. And I do also particularly like that attack because I don't need to aim. It just sort of uh, hits the whole map in front of me. And I like that because the less thinking I have to do, the better we're going to do. We're going to dodge that. There we go. Another one of those and another 3 HP. So in theory, we want to use this when there's more enemies around. I don't know if that's going to give us extra healing. That definitely did. Extra health for us. This is also good for situations like this. I know when I open that chest, uh, enemies are going to spawn. So I can just wait for my ultimate ability to show up. They can spawn. I can freeze them all. Easy win. Plus I heal. Yes, it is a very brave strategy. Okay, we uh, didn't freeze. Oh, there we froze that guy a little bit. Now we need the ability where we hurt enemies when they're unfrozen as well. That would be big. Fist of the Magi. Increase the basic uh, damage of basic arcana by 15%. I think that's this one. Uh, I don't know what happened to my little timer down there. It seems to have reset again. I don't think I used my ability. Mm, that doesn't really matter much anyway. We're doing a lot of undamaged enemies. Oh, I guess that uh, also works too because we do so much undamaged enemies. My freezy uh, destroy the map spell is going to be extra, extra, extra good, isn't it? Like using that, it's going to hurt him up there for big damage. And I don't think I can take damage when that hits me. So we're just slowly healing and uh, well, we got it on easy street so far. The bosses, of course, are still going to cause a little bit of an issue. Is this all that's going to spawn here? Okay, well, you know what? I'll take your guys' HP anyway. All right, it is starting to spawn in slowly. That was close. We'll go ahead and do that. And that's going to hurt him. Uh, he's got a shield, so he can't be stunned and stuff as easy. So we're going to actually have to uh, emphasize, just use a, utilize just a little bit of skills here. Uh, you know what? This isn't so bad, though. I finished that intense little battle. Up 3 HP. 
that brings us to the end of the level. We might go back and look at the rewards. I still have $100 I could spend on something. We could buy Spike Shield right now, shoot five homing projectiles. Frostbite Ring is what we wanted. We need another uh, 24 gold. I'm hoping that I miss some gold containers somewhere or some boxes or something that can give me just a little more. Hey, I did find whatever this is. Fight. Let's take him down. This guy wants uh, my help to destroy I don't know what. Oh, apparently that golem. All right, well, here we go. We're going to mostly let that guy take all the damage while we sit here safely far away, but his health is dropping quick. This will hopefully give us the gold we need to uh, do a super freeze. We're also going to do that. Uh, that didn't seem to affect the golem. That's fine because he's dead. It did give me increased critical chance uh, by 5% of my standard. Uh, no gold. I would have rather taken the gold. Can I sell things? Can I have money for helping you? I did find three gold containers here and some enemies. These might be able to help me out. I'm 10 gold away from what I need. Five gold away from what I need. We're so close. There were containers here that were hard to see. We are two gold away. Literally two. Well, that's heartbreaking. Two gold away. We'll find that again. This is going to be a boss fight, so we get heals right away. So the thing I learned about boss fights is you just keep dodging. Dodge, dodge. I didn't dodge that one as well as I meant to, but there's some freezing action. Uh, we is basically just learn the attack pattern. When they start attacking, just keep dodging until they're done attacking. Definitely hit them when they're stunned as much as you can. And basically, ow, just stay out of the damage. Uh, when in doubt, just dodge, 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 dodge. Uh, can you come back into my... There we are. Ow. Okay, uh, uh, yeah, dodging. Dodging now. Dodging again. Dodging again. Once they're done with this, uh, our thing should be built up again. Uh, okay, they're gonna do their, uh, wave of that thing. Got it. Gonna, uh, okay. They're almost dead, so, yeah, there, got them. That's a good sign, because we made that one look pretty easy. And this also means I can upgrade some of my abilities. I'm gonna upgrade my, uh, blizzard ability, my sky cry. Now, ice shards are gonna rain down in an area dealing, uh, high damage. Now it's right back to work. We waited 30 seconds, our super ability is done, now we just wait for uh, the appropriate amount of enemies to show up and then we'll kill them all at once. Come on, where's the rest of them? Big spread out area so far, so we go like that, and dead. We're gonna open the chest, we got some heals, uh, we have 210 HP, there's another uh, chaos gate thing, we're gonna jump in here real quick. See, normally an area this tight would have me worried, uh, wait, is he a friend or an enemy? Okay, I don't think he's a friend. Uh, he is an earth guy. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and use that right away. We're gonna do that. That's gonna be big. Wow, that's so much damage. Uh, we got spark array. Oh, so we have another ability entirely now. Oh, that's fun. I am likely gonna completely forget I have that one, but I've got it now. Uh, we're gonna try it against these guys to see if that's gonna be effective or not. Yeah, it seems fairly, especially if I'm close. I'll hit him with all the balls. And I'm back to max HP already. You gotta be sure to go into all these corners in case, uh, more idiots show up that can give me more gold. Perfect. Okay, we're gonna use it here, and they're all dead. Things like this on the map I don't understand. There seems to be another little area, like, up over here. There's probably, like, a secret that I don't know how to use. This looks like an area that should be difficult, so we'll wait for some of the more difficult idiots to show up, because these things are boring. We just basically ignore them. That's one of the more difficult. Okay, we're gonna use it now. Okay, my ultimate didn't go off or something. Have some balls. Not really sure why that didn't work, but there's my uh, super damaging thing. Okay, that didn't work either. I don't know why my ultimate didn't go off there. I was sure it was fully charged, but that's fine. Ow. Okay, that was dumb. We're gonna use it now to put back some of the health we just lost. Here's a small little battle. Uh, okay, we probably should have waited just a second, but we got him dead anyway. This would be a little bit easier if my cooldown was a little bit less. Waiting 30 seconds is starting to take some sweet time. I've just realized that I myself also glow when my ultimate thing is ready. I can also trade one of my abilities if I want. I don't think I want to do that because I like all of mine. This wizard wants me to deal with something. I think we can do that. Uh, my ability has not shown up yet. I'm not overly worried about it yet because that's already destroyed those. And our damage is just really, really high. Especially when we hit undamaged enemies, we basically evaporate them. Uh, you know, we're going to go ahead and use this now. And basically done already. Cool. Hopefully I get a massive reward for that. Uh, yeah, you know, nothing is good too. Uh, kind of accidentally started this battle. Uh, whoops, didn't mean to cast that there, but that's still fine. Anyway, these guys are all pretty basic, so shouldn't be too much of a threat to myself. I keep forgetting I have my electric balls, uh, technique as well. Really should be using that more than I am. Okay, there's some, uh, guys in here. We definitely want to... Wow, that was actually good positioning on my part. We got most of them. Eat balls, idiot. I'm gonna use my ultimate ability right away to try and get rid of him. Done. That works so well. Yes, I did just get hit by these guys because I was Many not paying attention. Okay, we got two friends here that we should be able to spend our 500 gold on. This is going to be good. 
I'm gonna take this to receive 12% less damage. Then that's really the only thing I want from him. We're gonna move on to Poison Mushroom Land. Which may be a boss fight, given that it's healing me up right away. Uh, it's apparently whatever this thing is. It appears to be a boss. So I gotta be careful how I uh, approach this and fight this. I gotta wait for it to hold a little bit still before I... Okay, you gotta come over here then. Come over here, please. Can we come into my super attack? Nope, it didn't do it. I clicked on it with my uh, attack, but it didn't uh, cast in the right spot. So we're going to dodge, 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 attack, attack, attack. It seemed to attack in uh, pools of three. Okay, we're going to do... Uh, there we go. We got it right under the frost thing. And I think it's stunned, actually, so I'll get big damage into you. Real big damage. Oh, electric balls as well. Okay, we're going to move away now. No, I do not have any idea what I'm doing. We're just doing our best to dodge all of the many damages that are going around. We're just dodging, dodge and attack, dodge and attack, dodge and attack. Okay, uh, oh, we got to write the blizzard right on it again, so that's good. Yeah, good, good, good. We're blundering our way through this. It's, it's so little HP now that I think it's hopefully going to be a pretty guaranteed victory, provided we don't take, like, damage 85 times in a row. Okay, we're right, got a blizzard right beside it. Come on, yeah, back into the blizzard you go. Good, this is good. Couple more hits, and that's it. I still took about 100 damage there. That's crazy. Uh, I just got something called a Chaos Core. I can upgrade things back at home base, so that sounds important. This place looks really expensive. Those are premium lemons for sure. Um... I can take one of these, uh, increase your max HP by 75 or recover. We're going to increase our max HP, which brings me to the desert where I am forced to listen to music, even though I very clearly have that turned off. But at least we finally get different types of enemies to fight. It was getting old fighting the other ones. But you know what? You can have a blizzard. You can have that. You can have balls. It's a little bit tricky because I don't know what the enemies are going to do. But as long as I can do this, I think we're mostly going to be okay. And I found my friend, and I've got $384 to spend still. I want to take the Enhancement Infuser. Increases your damage by 10% and another 10% for upgraded Arcana. Mm, that's a new one. This guy can fire balls at me that kind of follow me around and then explode in sort of an AoE. We're just going to wander around and try and lure out as many enemies as I can so I can just efficiently kill them all all at once. Found another shop, and this one I can actually buy... These things have like uh, orange glowies around them. I assume they're better. I'm maybe going to buy that, and that should just add it to my arsenal. Nope, that one literally replaced my main attack, which is definitely not going to be great. So I'm going back because it left the card on the ground. Okay, now that I understand how that works, things are going to be easier. Uh, this room seems pretty straightforward. We're just going to kill that. This big room definitely is going to have something in it. Uh, uh, yeah, whatever that guy is, we're going to hit him with one of those. And as soon as he's holding stillish, we're going to lure him towards more of that. Yeah, we're doing tons of damage. Mostly he's just laying eggs around everywhere. Uh, whoops, didn't mean to cast that over there. Uh, you know what, have some electric balls. Uh, I think as long as the, the eggs don't hatch, he's not really that... I don't know what this is, but he's dead. Uh, healing effects are increased by 25%. That may or may not uh, apply to my ability. And I also found a purple staircase. Which has led us to some rather uh, strange looking things. Uh, my ultimate ability did not go off there. I'm uh, not entirely sure why. It's definitely been 30 seconds and that threw me off for a sec. So we're starting to take a little bit more damage than we should be. Have some balls. There's a room behind you. I can see it on the map. My 30 second cooldown ability seems to keep resetting in here. Those are definitely going to attack when I walk by, aren't they? Yep, sure are. Got to uh, dash past them. That would actually make sense in hindsight. Now I feel stupid. Uh, we'll take this as soon as my ability's ready. Wait, I'm glowing. It's ready now. Whoops. Uh, yeah, right. Where well, you know which buttons. To... Uh, okay, it's not ready. Okay, apparently the glowing doesn't matter. Well, that's going to go ahead and destroy everything nearby and dead. Yeah, they uh, increased my evade chance by 8%. We're actually have a 13% evade chance now. That's quite big. Yeah, this room we're definitely starting to take way more damage than we should be. I don't know why that only casts so far away. Uh, maybe I just need to be really close to enemies to make that one work. But we do have this one again. And we're going to start relying on that so it can heal us. Uh, which apparently is going to lead us to another boss fight. We're only going into it with uh, 218 HP. This appears to be a lightning guy. Uh, I can also dash around like an idiot though, so we're going to be okay. The hardest part uh, is going to be getting him to hold still for a sec so I can use my uh, super attack on him. We can use this one for now just to get some damage going. Uh, we're going to lure him into this if we can. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, okay, have some balls for now then. We're doing plenty of damage. It's not a damage. Oh, good. We got him stunned end under that. Oh, that like wrecked him. Okay, there's a couple more good hits. Uh, we just got to avoid a little bit of damage ourselves. Wow, we're doing plenty of damage. We're melting bosses. Uh, arcane chromo acquire. Can we use to purchase? Okay, good. Uh, can I have a reward that helps me now? Channel a short stream of lightning that jumps to other targets. I think that's upgrading my uh, basic attack. Somehow, I, uh, okay, that's what those do. Got it. Uh, I'm only in Desert 3 of 4, uh, but I just defeated a boss. Luckily, I'm more than used to being confused. Uh, was that an enemy? Okay, we're going to go ahead and go ahead and freeze the whole room before anything can hurt me. Good. 
Okay, this is another one of these rooms, but my freeze ability is ready, so there's heals and insta wipe the room. Never mind, this had two waves. Um, that's so far so good. Wow, those are annoying. Okay, it's held still. Now it's time to murder it. Not really sure. We're gonna let a few enemies spawn in. There we go. Big damage. We got some heals out of that. We also took some damage ourselves, though. So, have some balls and have everything else. The other one's just sitting there waiting. We are definitely slowly taking damage. Alright, back to the surface. Out of the purple zone, I guess. Feels like there should be more enemies here. We're just gonna go ahead and kill these guys. And if something else appears, then I can use my ulti. Nope, that was literally it. Maybe against... Uh, okay, don't know where my ulti went again. That's perfectly fine. We're gonna do the super blizzard. Gonna use it for these fine guys. Uh, we really need that uh, does damage when unfrozen. Although maybe that's not that much damage ultimately now that I look at it. We did find another chaos gate thing. Uh, we have some very close range idiots. And we're going to use the ability, which happened to be going off now, so I think that's actually it. We've won. This is one I like. Signature Arcana deals 50% less damage when not charged, but 50% more when charged. Well, we only use it when it's charged, so that's real big for me. Apparently I have a max relic count, which I was unaware of, so we're going to toss out something that's um, not helpful. Okay, we're going to get rid of uh, that thing, healing. Uh, we're going to get less healing again, but that's fine. We get more damage instead. So let's see if we can find, there we go, a few more enemies to find uh, that should have hit for extra damage. And it feels like it did. Those things were dead before they were even alive. I'm hoping we have a similar situation here. We're going to spawn these things in and double damage. More damage. Got him. Dead. Uh, there were, this was a few wave thing. I uh, definitely got hit there, but we still have 103 HP. And I guess the more damage we do, the more heals we get as well. Uh, we can increase the healing on our big attack. Uh, we can also do 40% crit to bolt rail. Uh, we're going to do 4% heals. That's going to help keep us alive. I'm going to be stupid and help this useless man deal with whatever problem this is. Okay, I'm going to 1v1 this at the wizard. He doesn't know I have my ultimate ability though. Okay, we're going to do that and hopefully freeze him. Then once he's frozen, we're going to rain that down on him. And come on, he's almost dead already. Oh, balls too. We both have the balls. He dead. Found a little bit of healing. I'm mostly just giving up when my uh, 30 second ability is up or not. It, sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. I don't know what to make of it. Uh, we're just going to run past these to hopefully bring them to other idiots so we can kill them all at once. There we go. Okay, and my ability wasn't up, even though it's surely been 30 seconds. Now it's working. And uh, we got some heals out of that. Here's an interesting one. Killing enemies using your signature increases its damage by 2%, kept at 80%. I do want that. I do think I have to drop something to pick that up. I'm going to get rid of my uh, evade chance thing. That's probably quite strong for our survival, but we need more damage. I suspect this tornado is actually a man we need to fight. <laughs> or a woman. Uh, okay, we're going to go ahead and use our ultimate ability right away, do some damage. Okay, we're going to try and get some attack pattern recognition. Then we're going to... Mm, way wrong on that one. But that's fine. I got electric balls and all sorts of other things we can use to defeat the uh, woman. Okay, uh, there's a double spike attack that I was way too lazy to dodge. There's the super frost win again. Hopefully uh, they get stunned. I think they are, so big damage to them. Have some electric balls. This is a new attack that I haven't seen. That's getting annoying to dodge. Can you hold still so I can just hit you? Hold still. Okay, we're going to use that. We're a little bit of that. Come on, get into frost. Get into frost. My uh, big attack is helping heal me mid-battle because I can like use my super signature and then that actually gave me quite a bit of HP back. Wow, that wrecked me. We were doing so good. Our ridiculous build totally carried me there. I have no idea what I'm doing in this game.